One very important type of a substitution cipher is called a one-time pad. A one-time pad is the only known unconditionally secure cipher. There are other ciphers out there that are very secure, but nothing that is unconditionally secure. In other words, you cannot break it if it's used properly. The way it works is you generate a random value. That random value is written down to a pad or a device and is transferred securely to the intended recipient. Now, there's a lot going on in this statement. First off, it needs to be a truly random value. We know that there's no such thing as purely random values. There's always some deterministic character of all of our pseudo-random values, especially the ones that come out of computers. But we want to get as close to truly random as possible. Then, of course, when you write down or you register a copy of the pad, getting it to the intended recipient is tough, getting it to them securely. But let's assume that we have a random value and we have transferred it over to the intended recipient. We then encrypt our message using the one-time pad and we send the message. Obviously, you're going to send it separately from the pad itself, so we send it in a separate enclosure. The recipient then uses the one-time pad to decrypt the message. And here's the key. Never reuse a one-time pad. That's why it's called a one-time pad. Once you use it, you throw it away. That is the nature of making the one-time pad unconditionally secure. Your pad also needs to be at least as long as the message you're sending. That will defeat any attempts to decrypt and to break the pad. Not very useful in everyday life. However, it can be useful if you need something that's going to be used once and only once, and you want it to be unbreakable.